Alright, quick review on how to paint Citadel miniatures, volume 1. You can tell the difference between those two volumes because this has a grey knight on the front, whereas the other one has an elf. Uh, this one will be fairly quick because actually this book follows just about the same layout as the first one with a couple of differences, so just start flipping through here. Preface, materials, you know, you got your brushes, everything in this is the older brushes you can see here these are the red handle brushes um, desk lamps old snips everything you see in this book will be much older than you see in the previous incarnation or in the future incarnation of this book uh, so they don't have their tubs of flock here because they hadn't released those yet a hacksaw is a hacksaw and there are actually a couple of references to other useful things like uh, those rubber bands and tape and blue tech uh, which you won't necessarily find in the future book. Uh, tweezers, etc., etc., pliers, things like that, you don't see in the future book because they focus a lot more on their product at that point. Um, assembling metal models. See, they have a, down here, they actually have a better example of a uh, mold line than they do in the future book. Um, largely, vents flashing. It continues. I just reviewed these two side by side, so. These are actually almost page for page uh, the same thing. With the exception of their updated photos, they were using a white primer in the future edition. There's a black primer here um, using Valhalla models. Like I said, a lot of everything in here, older models, old Empire Spearmen. Uh, techniques, they do alphabetize these pages for some reason. I don't know why. but. Uh, this is B for black undercoat. Um, layering examples, what you can, what, what you need to do to get up to a certain color over a black undercoat. Uh, I think there's a better example of blending in this book than the sphere that they have in the first book. Um, but again, largely the same. This page is the same thing as the old one, but they upgraded to the little circle, spherical graphic images, color wheel. They continued that from the previous one. They didn't have this in the future one about dry brushing uh, tanks because, well, they got rid of their tank brush and, well, they're really large dry brush as far as I know. Um, and everything they do involving glazes like you see here, this is done with inks and dry brushing uh, as opposed to washes and dry brushing because before they had inks. These are the old guard models. Same exact thing in the future. Um, for details about the books in general and their usefulness, just check out Volume 2, which you might as well skip over this one because you're getting the same book with the exception of a few things, which I'll point out as I get to them. Uh, same thing, this one says yellow ink on the uh, glaze. It says Graphone sepia wash in the future. You know, this uh, CGI image of lighting sources is not here in the future book, and really it's kind of a pointless little... Uh, thing anyway. Uh, hard edge highlighting, layering, so on and so forth. Mixing chart. This here, um, they covered it. It's now mechrite red to go up to uh, blood red in this case. Uh, instead of just painting a mixture of yellow and skull white because they released their foundation paints after this. So this can be voided. If you are, unless you just don't use their foundation paints, then this could be potentially useful to you. Covering up uh, chipped paint, stippling, not in the future book, and I've never actually seen a model with stippling on it, ever, um, except for rust effects. Uh, do test strips, test cards, washing, uh, more washes, it's all crude, stuff like that. Before they came out with I'm not sure if they have a varnish, but they're promoting something else's varnish, which is shocking. It's a sign of the times, man. Uh, basing materials that are not GW, um, which I found interesting. And they actually have a larger section on basing in the other book. Um, it's just a small little blurb of how to base. has no clues on painting them. This one here will tell you Chaos Black, uh, Scorched Earth, Bubonic Brown, and then little bit of bubonic brown and skull white and there's three different you know colored things for making a basic sand base 
And then up here they've got uh, different kinds of bases. And a zombie dragon. Uh, information about how to put decals on. Um, freehand painting banner designs. That is also not in the future edition. Actually, GW has been sculpting a lot of their banners. Uh, for, but particularly for their metal models, it's kind of annoying. Um, so if you want multiple banners flying over your um, army, they're usually pre-sculpted, so make your own. Uh, stage by stage, a lot of these, I don't like the schemes, um, and they're not quite as well laid out as the other one as to what they are. Like, this will talk about flat colors and washes, and then so one of them will talk about layering, but you have to read the description as opposed to the other one where it says it's focusing on this technique or that technique. But I like the process in this better. It's much more laid out for each individual step. See, uh, shield painting, painting the beard and the hair here, uh, an old blood angels thing. Step by step for painting just the gun on the Eldar, so on and so forth. Details of how to paint a Valhalla's face with a crappy eye paint job. But, all in all, oh, don't ever paint your orcs like this. Uh, you probably can't see it because the light is kind of bad with this camera and all that, but red to gray to white, don't ever paint your orcs like that, in my opinion. He even acknowledges that the paint job is sloppy, it's just for an overall effect. So, and so on and so forth. Um, Empire Spearman, Witch Elf, and then the Citadel Color Paint and Inks range, which is obsolete, and a small section by John Blanche, who is very good at using red and does a lot of fantastic artwork. I don't even know if he still works for or with GW, but that is a total of 96 pages. Again, there is How to Paint Citadel Miniatures, Volume 1, um, for details about what's in the book. Uh, aside from the quick rambling that I just did, uh, check out Citadel Miniatures Volume 2 if you're going to buy a How to Paint Models book from Games Workshop, um, which has an elf on the front cover. In fact, I've got it right here. There we go. There's the elf. And I've already went through this before. Everything is updated in this, uh, like I was saying watches are now little crescent moons, the color wheel's the same, so on and so forth. Where, what was that? Ah, uh, yes. Griffone sepia, the wash, instead of yellow ink, exact same photo. So, volume one, might as well stay away from it because it doesn't tell you anything that volume two doesn't except for basing and uh, free hand painting banners. So that's my review. Really, uh, stay away from both of these books. There's no need to buy them uh, unless you care to feed GW more money. All right, thanks a lot. You guys have a good day.